Here we have a diagram where you have an incorrectly connected circuit. This is what you should not do in labs. The emitter has a resistance of 0.1, emitters ideally have very small resistance, and the voltmeter has a huge resistance of 1 mega ohm. Ideally, voltmeters should not let parent pass through it. So by just knowing how emitter and voltmeter work, we can already guess what the answer would be. The voltmeter will block almost all the current. So you should be have uh, should have pretty much no current flowing through the circuit. But how do you know what values these are? So maybe let's try find what would be the current flowing through the battery. That's, that should be a one that's doable, right? If we can find this R, yes, we can find it. If we know the total resistance. So let's do a quick calculation to check if any of those answers are correct. So total resistance, I need to combine these two in parallel. Okay, so 1 over 0 0.1 plus 1 over 1,000. That's for those in parallel. Then you must add the one in series. So we add 1 times 10 to the 6. That's super big. Okay, once we get our resistance, then we use V equals to IR. But in this case, we modify it a bit and say battery EMF equals to current flowing through the battery times the total resistance. Try calculate and see. Well, when I calculated it, I got a super small current and I have a current of about 1.99. Okay, lah, 2 times 10 to the negative 6 amps, which is equivalent to 2 mu microamps. So just by doing this quick check, something's not quite right there. Yes, the current is super small. The answer's not small enough. Hi-yo, 20 m is so big, it can fry a whole human hand. Okay, anyway, too big. These two, too big. Current should be smaller. Small current, thanks to the huge resistance of the voltmeter. Then, voltage. So when you think about voltage, remember that these two volts provided to the whole circuit, including the meters, will be shared across two sections. The first section, these two in series, the second section over here. It's kind of like treating them like this, where you have one and two. They divide the potential. It's called a potential divider. So you compare the left side and the right side. How much resistance is this one? How much resistance is this one? Oh, this one has the largest resistance. So if you treat this as a section with high resistance, voltmeters do have resistance. Okay, They will have, let's just call this V1 and V2. V1 will be large. Very, very, very large. Okay, treat this whole parallel section as shared across. Okay, so V1 is going to be huge, huge, very large. Almost the whole battery, two volts actually. So from there, we can already check that C. No, no, no. Voltmeter can still read, even if there's little to no current. What you're going to read is almost two volts. If you're not convinced and you say, Miss, I'm not convinced. Where's the calculation? Okay, if you insist on calculations, let's do a potential divider ratio and see if we have enough information. So I'm going to... Man, we got to do some ratios. Okay, let's do a ratio, potential divider ratio. We need to find V1. I think we'll do to ratio to the total. So V1 over the total provided in this entire series section, which is also the battery, EMF, equals to that resistance, which is 1 mega ohm, over the total resistance in the whole circuit, which we could have found up here. I guess we let's, let's do the calculation up there for R total. Okay, based on that, resistance of total is uh, 1 times 10 to the 6 ohm. Eh? Miss, isn't that just pretty much one mega ohm? Yep. This one mega ohm is so big that the other two is like eh, negligible. It's pretty much the same thing if you don't include all the extra decimal places. So what do we have here? Let's substitute in the V total available for these two sections. And that will be two. So your V1, pretty much two volts. Maybe 1.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
do not connect this in lab and say, miss, my circuit not working. You check and see your voltmeter connect properly or not. All right, so that's all for this question. See you in the next one.